Once upon a time, there was a king who planted a myriad of flora around his palace. Amidst the rows of big trees, a unique kind of grass thrived. When the wind blew, the grass swayed like rolling waves, filling the air with its refreshing fragrance. Of all the trees, a big tree was especially eye-catching. Its trunk stood tall and proud, and its branches spread wide and high. The majestic presence of the tree often captivated those who passed it by. One day, a servant came bearing news to the king. Your Majesty, I'm here to inform you about the condition of the single pillar hall in the palace. The only pillar that supported the entire hall has deteriorated from years of neglect. If it is not replaced soon, the hall will collapse. Considering the importance of the hall, the king decided that it had to be preserved and ordered the servant to restore it at once. The servant quickly went to a carpenter and told him about the hall. Wasting no time, the carpenter immediately looked everywhere in the forest, hoping to find a fine piece of wood to replace the damaged pillar. But after a long search, he still couldn't find one. Just then, his disciple came to tell him what he had found. Looking down at the king's palace, they saw a magnificent tree of towering stature. The carpenter knew he had found the perfect tree for the pillar. The carpenter went to report to the king. Your majesty, to replace the pillar in the hall, we have to use the best wood there is. And I have found it. It's right here in the palace. But it is your favorite tree. I don't suppose we can cut it, can we? The king knew that if the pillar collapsed, the hall would be reduced to rubble. So he gave his permission to cut the tree and grow a new one later. The carpenter was very pleased. He quickly prepared fruits to offer to the tree and respectfully told the tree that he'd come back to cut it down in a few days. After the carpenter left, the goddess dwelling in the tree couldn't help but start to weep. Hearing her cries, other tree goddesses came to see what was wrong. When they learned what was going to happen, they could do nothing but cry together with her. Then the grass god appeared. He said to the goddesses, we should do something. A goddess replied in scorn. Oh yeah? What can you do to help? The grass god said, I'll come up with something. That night, he kept thinking and finally figured out what to do. He summoned a group of bugs and ordered them to cover the tree with mud until it looked like the tree had a pest infestation. The next day, the carpenter came with several workers to cut the tree. Just as the carpenter was about to fell the tree, a worker shouted, Oh no, the tree is infested. Taking a closer look, the carpenter realized that the tree was indeed infested and could not be used. Disappointed, they left. 
the tree goddess was relieved. She turned to the grass god and said, Thank you. You're truly a friend in need. She recalled how the other tree goddesses disapproved of her befriending the grass god, thinking that he was inferior and lowly. Yet, when she needed help, it was the grass god who had come to her rescue. Treat everyone equally, be they rich or poor, noble or lowly. Cherish all the people around us with an open and loving heart. <laughs>